Hey guys! So back in January, I recorded a video, I think it was called Traditional vs. Digital Art. I'll link to it in the description if you want to watch it, but basically it was a speed paint where I was drawing Lars from Steven Universe um, and talking about how I kind of preferred traditional art to digital art. Um, so I wanted to kind of revisit that idea. So here's another speed paint of me drawing Lars from Steven Universe and sort of talking about how I feel about digital versus traditional art. Um, in that video, I was talking about how I, for a really long time, would draw by hand with a pencil and paper and then scan that into the computer and color it digitally, but I just never felt comfortable doing line art digitally because it just feels really different from drawing with a pencil and paper. And for a really long time I just found it really hard to do line art digitally so I never really did it, but for the last few months I've been really trying to draw more digital line art, and who knew that all it takes to get better at something is to practice a lot. Um, this past April, I did something called Artastic April where I drew one picture every day for a month and just spending a month drawing digitally did wonders for just feeling more comfortable with digital line art. So if you're out there and you're like me and you feel like drawing with a tablet is just really uncomfortable and awkward and hard compared to drawing with a pencil, just spend a month doing nothing but drawing digitally, just experiment, draw whatever, and you'll really improve just because that's how practice works, which sounds so obvious, but for a really long time I just didn't try that much because it felt so awkward that I didn't even practice, and then I just sat down and decided to do it, and I got a lot more comfortable with it. I don't know if my art has gotten like way better, quote unquote, I don't think my art's changed a ton in the last little while, but just my level of comfort with drawing with a tablet has gone way up. I just actually enjoy sitting down and drawing with a tablet now, where I used to find it I just didn't like it before, you know? I would like only want to draw if I was doing it with a pencil and paper. So there's your lesson for the day, kids. Practice. If something feels uncomfortable or awkward, you know, not necessarily in life, but like if you feel like you're not good at a certain type of art, just practice it. And don't like expect a lot of yourself. Just be like, hey, I'm just going to practice and have fun and you will get better at it lesson learned. <laughs> but anyways, so that's why I wanted to sit down and chat about this again because I was watching that old video and I was like pretty hard on digital art. I kept talking about how it wasn't great, but it's really grown on me. I just find it so much easier to like fix your mistakes and experiment with poses and stuff because you have more freedom to change things around um, digitally. And you know, once you get into the feel of it, it's easy to like have these loose, comfortable lines instead of like everything being really proper. Like, you know, if you're inking with a pen, you really like want to take your time and make sure the lines are like perfectly, you know, smooth or whatever. But digitally, you just kind of like make quick, fast strokes. And sometimes that makes it harder to draw, but sometimes that makes it easier. And it's just different from traditional art. I don't know if you're an artist, if you draw digitally or traditionally, is there one you like really prefer over the other? Um, let me know, because I'm curious. Some people seem to really prefer traditional art. Some people really prefer digital art. And I want to know why and what you think. Um, or if your opinion has kind of changed like me, because I used to only want to draw traditionally. Um, but no, I'm really, it's grown on me, drawing with a tablet. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the speed paint. You should let me know in the comments um, if you enjoy speed paints, because I like making them. Um, so I wonder if people enjoy watching them. I like watching other people's speed paints. I find it fun. So here's Lars. Um, he's one of my favorite characters in Steven Universe. Um, I find he, I actually draw him probably more than any other character in Steven Universe. Um, he's just, he's great. But like I said, I've only been really drawing uh, digitally for a little while now, like it hasn't been that long. So if you have any like recommendations, what program do you use? I'm using GIMP here and I've been using GIMP for a really long time. At this point, I don't even want to change just because like I know GIMP so well that it would be such a learning curve to try to use a different program, even though I know there's other programs out there that are supposedly quite a bit better, like Photoshop and Paint Tool Sci and stuff. But I really like GIMP. So let me know if you use GIMP or what program you do use. And if you have any advice, like things that helped you get better at art or at digital art, let me know because I really am trying to like draw more, get better at art. So I probably will be posting more speed paints in the future. I also have an art blog, which I will also link in the description if you want to check it out. Um, but yeah, I really am just trying to get better at art. I've been drawing for years and I don't think I'm, you know, that great. I just enjoy doing it and I like practicing and getting better at it. I don't know. So that's what this is. Enjoy 
I guess. <laughs> um, I thought I had more to say, but I guess I just wanted to revisit this, this idea of um, how much your opinion can change in a short amount of time, you know? Like five months isn't actually that long to go from being like, I could never comfortably draw digital art to like, I really enjoy it. Um, and I think that's a good lesson for life in general, you know, like your opinions about things can change so quickly. Um, you're barely the same person you were five months ago or a year ago or two years ago, not just in your art, but in life in general. And I just think this is a neat little microcosm of that concept that your opinions can change so quickly. So I wanted to do a new video to just sort of update you guys about how I feel about digital art. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can comment, let me know what you think about traditional versus digital art, or what you think of Lars from Steven Universe, because he's great. Um, you can like this video if you enjoyed it, and you can subscribe. I do other art videos, and I do lots of random nerdy videos about things like Steven Universe, or anime, or Homestuck. So if you're interested in any of that, you can subscribe, and thanks for watching.